everybody, this is Erica with Crafts Direct and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute wood round. This one is easy to switch out for your style if you don't want the pink colors in your house. You can easily switch it out with any color paper and any um, different color paint. So it just takes one 12 by 12 sheet of paper, a little bit of paint, and this cute card. We're going to start this project by cutting the half circles out of the pretty floral paper. So match the corner of your paper up with the wood round and then trace the wood round with a pencil. Eventually we're gonna use that line as a cutting line. And then we're gonna flip the paper over and do it again with the other side so we get our two half circles. Next we're gonna take our scissors and follow that pencil line we just drew and cut out the two half circles. Now that we've got our paper ready to go, we are going to work on painting the wood round white. So take your white acrylic paint and foam brush and paint the top of the wood round and the sides. Next we're going to work on painting the word high and we're going to paint that pink. Make sure to get the top, sides, and insides of the letters all painted. Just to add a little extra detail, we are going to paint the edges of the wood round pink. So here you can see I'm using the flat part of my foam brush to rub the paint on. This just helps it from going on the front of the board. We are going to add a little bit more pink accents to the front of the board, so we want to paint a little line above the paper cutouts. So here I am taping down a piece of tape as a border, so we are painting about a quarter inch pink on both sides of the wood round. Once we've got the tape put down there, we're going to push it down really nice and we're going to start painting the pink. So we are going to start painting on the tape and painting away from the tape. This is going to help prevent any paint from getting underneath that tape. And we don't need to paint the entire part because only a quarter inch of that area is showing. Once we're done painting, we are going to take the masking tape and peel it up. Now we get to start the fun assembly part, so we are going to adhere the paper to the board with matte Mod Podge. We're going to apply it with a foam brush and it's okay to go right over that entire pink area you just painted because when Mod Podge dries, it dries nice and clear. And lastly, we are going to adhere the word high to the board, so we're first going to put it down where we want it, then we're going to pick it up, apply hot glue to the back of it, and then press it onto the board. Thanks for joining me today as I did this project. You can find a complete list of all of the supplies at craftsdirect.com and just go over to our projects page.